Hey Deckers, Liam here. This will be a reasonably quick one because I just wanted to let you know that Valve has now released Proton 8, the latest version of their compatibility layer. This is now based on the latest stable version of the Wine project. In a Twitter post, Valve developer Pierre-Lou Griffet mentioned there will also be a Proton experimental update this week, which will also be based on the newer version of Wine. For those confused, Wine is the original compatibility layer for running Windows apps and games on Linux and other systems, and so the Steam Deck too. Valve maintain their own version with Proton, and they gradually pull in changes from Wine directly, and sometimes push their changes back to Wine. To use it, you can just search for Proton 8 directly in your Steam library, and then select it for install. Otherwise, it will automatically install for any games that Valve have specifically set to use Proton 8. You can ensure it is being used by selecting it in the Properties and Compatibility menu on individual games. And when you go to actually launch anything with Proton 8 for the first time, it will download what's called the new Sniper Runtime in the background and then you're just good to go. Anyway, here is a short run over what is actually new in Proton 8. Keeping in mind that a bunch of the changes would have already been in Proton Experimental. The key point here though is that Proton 8 will turn into the new main stable version of Proton that the majority of games will use. So for plenty of games it will mean one less bit of clicking around. So with Proton 8 we now have playable Forspoken, Samurai Maiden, Dead Space 2023, Creativerse, Neo 2, One Piece Pirate Warriors 4, various Atelier games, Blue Reflection, Disney Dreamlight Valley, Romance of the Three Kingdoms, Together Island, Warriors Orochi 3, Exceed Gun Bullet Children, Gun Grave Gore, and Chex Quest HD. Now of course no Proton update would be complete without a whole bunch of other improvements and bug fixes, so we have plenty of them as well, including the 2K launcher failure has been fixed, Arabic fonts in FIFA 21 and 22 were fixed, there's improvements to Chinese, Japanese and Korean font support in various games, they have improved sleep and resume functionality on Steam Deck for Tiny Tina's Wonderland, there's improvements to multi-touch support. They fixed the scroll bar being always visible in Final Fantasy XIV Online Launcher. A Plague Tale Innocence and a Plague Tale Requiem were fixed for showing an on-screen keyboard when starting the game on Steam Deck. They fixed up rendering issues in cutscenes in Splinter Cell. Japanese keyboard input in Final Fantasy XIV Online was fixed as well. And lots of other fixes like... Ray Tracing in Crisis Remastered, Multiplayer Support for Company of Heroes 3, Minecraft Dungeons should no longer hang when disconnecting from a multiplayer game, and there's various bits that have been updated behind the scenes, like of course Wine 8.0, they've updated the DXBK and VKD3D Proton translators that convert Direct3D into Vulkan, and so much more. So that's a really big upgrade overall. I'm quite keen to just go and jump in now and see how some of these games look as Valve continue chasing the dream of having the entire Steam library compatible on Steam Deck and Linux desktop. That's it for this update video though. I just wanted to let you know that it is now out there. Let me know in the comments how you get on with Proton 8 and I will see you in the next news video.